Hello spooky bats and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Orfia, I'm a god YouTuber from Belgium. Today's video is not the video that I expected to upload. Normally after the Wave Gothic Treffen I really want to get my Wave Gothic Treffen vlog out there. However this year there will not be. So this year's Wave Gothic Treffen was already booked last year after the edition ended. We booked our hotel the very same day and once the tickets started going live we also immediately purchased them with the group of people that were going. However, this year there was a very big issue for me. If you have been around longer on my channel, you know that I love music. Whenever I go to concerts or festivals, the music is almost all I talk about. Of course, there's a little bit of the fashion aspect as well, but the music is the main element why I go to festivals. So I was very disappointed and very much let down by the Wave Gothic Treffen this year in terms of lineup. And I wish that I would have still be able to cancel going to the Wave Gothic Treffen because this was probably my last edition for the next few years. There were many issues for me with this year's lineup. There weren't a lot of newer bands in it, um, bands that were announced that weren't even confirmed with the bands themselves, like Skeletons and Sidewalks. There were a lot of issues for me. So when we got like the planning of the Wave Gothic Treffen, I noticed that only two days had bands that I wanted to see. And one of the days was with X-Ties, Base Collate, XRX and Reaper as ending acts. I remember going to the venue that day and it was super crowded. There was a massive queue outside to get inside. And it's an issue that we have been seeing ever since the year after COVID, when the first Vegeti started again, is that they are trying to limit the amount of people inside a venue, which I totally get. So I feel like the organizers of the Wave Gothic Treffen don't know their crowds well enough to be able to know if a venue is going to be small enough or big enough to accommodate for the people wanting to see a band. Um, this is a remark that has been made for a few years already. And instead of going to bigger venues, because they do exist, they just keep on doing the same thing over and over again. So House Leipzig is a location where XRX, Reaper, x size etc. played. And for the first few bands it was fine. I arrived in time to see the ending of Basecalate, a big part of x size I saw XRX, but it was so hot in there. There is no actual ventilation inside the venue. Only like, so you have the, the place where the bands play so with the stage, etc. I feel like that gets too hot, too easy and too much and it's just overwhelming and I had to just get out. And then the bar area that's immediately connected there, they opened all the windows. But then you can't really see the band, so it's like, I just wish they think it through a little bit more for the, the size of the crowd that wants to see specific bands. And this was for the Friday. So on Friday, uh, because my partner went with me for the first time, we first went to Ajra to show him around a little bit. And then we went to the Haido so he could see it already. Um, and then we went to actually see the concert. So on Friday, I actually had like a full day of things to do. Now, the friends that I was with went to the Victorian picnic because again, there were no bands that they really wanted to see. The only thing that they wanted to do was the hands party with electronic music in the evening. Now, they went to the picnic, we went to Haido, Aira, and to see then the bands afterwards. It was okay. I actually didn't stay for Reaper because during XRX it was already super crowded, super packed, and there was a line of people during the entire block of where the venue is waiting to get inside. And it was just like, no, it's fine. I've already seen Reaper. Let's just go. Reaper is one of the bands that I do really enjoy, but it's not like one of the bands that I really have to see, not at the cost of my own sanity and not being able to move or dance because the bands that I see are bands that I want to dance to not just stand squished in a crowd. That's not what I want. And the past few years, we already had this issue a little bit, but it was okay. But this year it's even worse than it was before. So with Reaper, they really miscalculated the amount of people that wanted to see the band and the size of the venue, as has happened a lot before. On Saturday, there was nothing really that I wanted to see. So we just walked through the city a bit, uh, went here and there, but not really sticking around. 
we went to the Obsession Bizarre Party, which is the fetish party for those of you who don't know. And that was okay. The acts were fun, the music was great. Um, I think we left around two or three in the night and we actually arrived there at 10.30, so half an hour after it opened, and it was fun. And then on Sunday, there were a lot of bands within the genre that I listened to who were playing at the exact same time. So Sunday was a little bit frustrating because the other days didn't really have a lot of bands that I wanted to see. And then Sunday, suddenly everything was playing at the same time. Now, I want to remind you that the Wave Gothic Treffen Festival is in the entire city of Leipzig. So from one venue to another venue could easily be half an hour by public transport or even more. So you can't really jump venues, even if you were able to like go from one venue to the other. Chances are very high that there is a big queue in front of the venue and that you are not able to get inside. Now, one of the bands that I really wanted to see, who was actually my highlight of the entire festival, was Nightclub. Nightclub is a US-based electronic band. I absolutely love their music. They had such great energy. But because I knew they were playing at West Pot, which is another smaller location in my opinion, I knew I had to be there early. So during the concert beforehand, during Royce, who is not bad, but it's not one of my favorite projects, I was already there. So for the nightclub concert, I didn't really notice how full the venue was, but afterwards people told me that it was very packed. And also when I was standing in the front, a lot of people were there for the project that was playing afterwards, which was Frozen Plasma, and then the night ended with Ashbury Heights. So all of the Frozen Plasma fans were already in the front for nightclub. They didn't know any of the songs. They didn't really dance to it, which was a real pity because nightclub's performance was amazing, in my opinion. I really love the energy that Emily brings to the stage. And it, for me, it was a lot of fun. So after nightclub, you wanted to get a drink. The drink system in this venue works with tokens. I think this is one of the only venues that works with tokens. A token is five euros. And you don't need one token to get a drink. No, you need one token for the drink and one entire token for the pfand, which is like um, the system that they use to like, when you bring back the cup, you get back your coin. And then at the end of the evening, you would be able to exchange your coins back for money. Five euros for a not even big drink. Whereas at the other side of the street, there is what they call a beer garden. So it's like, yeah, a, a place where they serve beers and other soft drinks. And over there, a cola, a big one, half a liter was two euros 80. So after nightclub, I was exhausted. I needed to sit down. There are no sitting places in this venue either. Like if you want to sit on the steps, you can, but then like everyone is coming next to you, going up and down the stairs. So there isn't any seating area. There used to be, but now they close it off and put a bar there. So there were a lot of issues for me personally with Westpot. And also once we went outside after nightclub to get some air, we saw that the queue for Frozen Plasma was three blocks. So you had the block and then going once and then again. So it was immense. We went to the beer garden, we had our drinks there. We saw that the queue was not moving at all. So all of the people after nightclub that went outside were outside and were like gone and had to queue again to be able to maybe get in but they weren't letting anyone in, which to me is like insane. So they knew people were leaving, but they were not letting anyone else in. And one of my friends was actually inside. He stayed inside and I sent him a message it's like, hey, how full is it? And he was like, oh, there's still some space left to the side. It's like, you'll be able to fit in, just come in again. I'm like, yeah, no, there's a Q3 blocks around. So I'm not able to. Um, so we left. We just went back to our hotel um, and it's actually really close to Moritz Bastai. So we went back to Moritz Bastai. Um, there there was um, a band playing that I didn't really know, but we just walked inside, watched two songs and then went back outside. We actually went to the DJs. I danced a little bit to one of the after parties from DJ Barus, who is one of the DJs from x -Tiles. Um That was really fun. I danced there a little bit. And then we actually went to our hotel and slept. And on Monday, we went back home because I was just sick and tired of a festival that I was not having fun at, that I didn't have bands that I really wanted to see at. And yeah, for me, this was like an addition that kind of broke my heart a little bit for Wicked Day because I've been going since I was 18, 19. This was one of the first God festivals ever that I did. 
And I remember it really igniting my passion and my love for the God subculture. And to see what is happening now, that they clearly don't care about the people attending and of the feedback that we give to this festival, like enough's enough. And the thing is, I still meet a lot of my lovely subscribers over there. And those people, you know who you are. You talked to me, you asked to meet up. We did meet up at some point. Like, you are the little highlights together with Nightclub for this weekend of VGT. Now, I'm not going to say that this was like the worst edition of Wave Gothic Treffen ever. No, probably not. But I didn't have fun. And that's also a bit the thing, like in correlation with the Wave Gothic Treffen, I also feel like this channel is not giving me the joy that it used to. And you have probably been noticing that in my content as well. I know the past few months I've been working on my content again, making a lot again, but it just, it doesn't feel right. So I'm going to skip next year's edition of the Wave Gothic Treffen. I hope someone from Wave Gothic Treffen maybe sees this and maybe starts to reflect on the venues and the lineup and the things that they are doing for this festival. I know people who listen to different types of music may have had the best edition ever, but I know for me and my friends, we had a really poorly edition of the Wave Gothic Treffen. Um, unfortunately, the only day that there were bands to see everything was booked at the same time. So maybe like if they would have spread out the same genres of music through the days instead of like packing them all together on one day, that would have been better. So yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. I won't be there next year. The festival that I am really looking forward to is the Mera Luna festival. And that's a bit the thing. Wave Gothic Treffen is so big. There are so many venues, so many things that you could possibly do that it just all goes lost into nothingness. Is when there isn't anything you are truly interested in. Whereas at the Mera Luna, there is two stages at walking distance from one another. So if you're listening to one band and you're like, oh, this is maybe not really my thing, you can just walk over to the other stage and see what's going on there. And also on the medieval market, you have like the more folky music playing. So it is a totally different vibe. And from now on, I'm going to be focusing on these smaller festivals if I do more festivals again. And I'm actually really looking into doing other festivals instead of doing the Wave Gothic Treffen. Um, Castle Party has been recommended to me. So if you have other smaller festival recommendations, I would love to know. I know this isn't the video that you were waiting for. It's not the video that I thought I would be making. But still, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around through this rant about the Wave Gothic Treffen of this year. If you were one of my lovely subscribers who came up to me and who gave me the small little plushie, thank you so much. You really brightened up my entire weekend. So without further ado, until next time, bye.